Hey guys, what's going on? It is Mike from the Hardcover Comic, and today going to be ripping apart some more books, cutting them down, getting the X-Acto knife, and just shredding into them. Um, I mentioned the series in my last video when I was uh, prepping um, the Aftershock series, Pestilence. Um, this time we're going we're going to be doing a walk through hell. Um, it's a a story written by Garth Ennis, artwork by Goran Suzuka. Um, both great creators. Um, Garth Ennis, I'm sure you guys are mostly all aware of, you know, Punisher Max, Preacher, um, and a plethora of other series. Um, Goran Suzuka um, has also done quite a bit of work. I don't, um, off the top of my head, remember much of it. The last time I've seen his name, though, was on uh, Wonder Woman by Brian Azzarello. He would alternate with Cliff Chang on that. Um, the series is about um, these two detectives that um, one day go to uh, basically this warehouse um, to help uh, other investigators and they find out that there's some really weird stuff going on um, inside the warehouse and then once they get out there's a lot happening to them um, you know there's there, there's some funky stuff that happens I don't want to give too much away it's a 12 issue series um, it's pretty good not Garth Ennis's best work but um, I enjoyed it for what it was um, there's you know there's a little bit of political talk in there, um, you know, there's a lot of Twitter messages showing up, uh, stuff like that, but um, it's a, it's pretty much, a, I consider it a horror mystery thriller sort of series, um, it's different, um, and you know, even, even if it's a, not the best Garth Ennis story, it's still pretty incredible since he is uh, quite the writer, he's, again, you know, he, he's great at, um, writing these very serious moments and really, uh, you know, he, he's pretty insightful when it comes to, um, his views on the world and what he, but, you know, what he believes, um, he, uh, you know, does like to put that out into his comic books and it definitely shows here as well. Uh, but if you're looking for something different, you know, it's only 12 issues, like I mentioned, not, not the biggest book. I'm sure, um, you know, uh, I know that Aftershock has been putting out these hardcovers recently, um, you know, recently we had Dark Arc, we've had Baby Teeth in the past, Animosity, uh, and I believe there are a few, I think Pestilence is getting one as well, that's right. Um, so there may be a, a hardcover, an official hardcover coming out for this one. <clears throat> I'm just trying to really get this last page here. Um, so I also did want to do something else um, while I'm prepping these binds. I'm going to have this added later, but I just sort of wanted to talk about... Um, Solicitations for February 2020 for the, the, the smaller publishers, you know, not the big two, um, and, and not Image, I guess we could say big three at this point, really. Um, but first off, I wanted to just talk about the Valiant February 2020 solicitations. Um, and actually, actually, the first thing I want to do is apologize if the audio is not as great as it usually has been. My mic is broken. So I have to use a, a headset this time, um, so it may not be the greatest thing. There may be some background noise, hopefully nothing too crazy. But uh, anyway, let's get started. Valiant, Fe Valiant February 2020. Um, the first thing is there, there's a new mini coming out called, uh, for Doctor Tomorrow. Um, and if I, if I remember reading correctly, Doctor Tomorrow is, a, um, it is an existing character that was part of the Valiant universe back in, you know, in the in the 90s, and um, he's getting a, a little bit of a refresher, um, obviously for for the current Valiant universe. Um, written by Alejandro Arbona and artwork is by Jim Toe. I'll just show you guys some, the first cover here by K Kenneth Rockefort, um, who's doing a pretty good job on covers. I've always been sort of wishy-washy on his artwork, but he's doing a great job here. I dig that cover. Um, we do have two Bloodshot issues coming out this month, which is great. Um, unfortunately, Newsarama, while they're a great website, they have these obnoxious ads. Um, so I apologize for that, guys. Um, Going to be seeing a lot of book connections here. But Bloodshot number zero, um, you know, it. I mean, from what it seems like in this description, um, it, it seems like we're going to be getting some background info on uh, on his mission here. Um, so it should be pretty exciting. It's always nice to get two issues of a series. Quantum and Woody number two, um, written by Christopher Hastings, art by uh, Ryan Brown. Very excited for this series in general. Um, you know, mostly for Ryan Brown's artwork. I don't know much about Christopher Hastings, um, but really looking forward to it. Quantum and Woody is a great team. Um, they're goofy, they're silly, they're serious, they're, um, they're brothers. And at the end of the day, 
Um, that's what the book's about, them being brothers, sticking together as a family, being there for each other. Um, it's great. And it's also about being silly. And we do see uh, a new villain show up here, Dr. Toilet, um, who looks hilarious. I'm really looking forward to it. Ryan Brown is super creative, so um, I'm, I have very positive feelings about it. The Visitor, um, number three of six. Um, I personally will not be picking this up um, just because with these... Uh, with these minis, it's kind of, it's kind of tough, you know. Um, it's tough to put them together in binds because there's also the possibility of a future mini series coming, and that could be, you know, three, five years down the road. Um, but you know, I'll, I'll check it out when I can. If uh, you know, if we do get a second mini, whatever it may be, I will definitely have it on my list. Rye number four, Dan Abnett, uh, Juan Jose Rip. Um, Really looking forward to it. Of course, if you guys uh, have not read Rye, I will be talking about it a little bit more in a future video about uh, my top five most anticipated series of 2020. Um, so that's coming soon. Um, hopefully this isn't too obtrusive on uh, on this little bind video I'm doing here. Um, you know, I'll, I'll try and make it fit as I can in editing. Um, Bloodshot number six, we get to see Adalon's origin. And I guess the issue is going to change Bloodshot forever. Really looking forward to it. Tim Seeley and Brett Booth, um, really great stuff. I've really been, uh, I've been, uh, you know, Declan Shalvey's a great artist. I enjoy him. His covers have been um, decent for Bloodshot. I kind of expected more, but I guess that's just on me. We are also seeing the EXO Man Award Deluxe Edition Book 2 coming. Um, but it looks like, oh yeah, February 19th. Awesome. Um, so for those of you that don't have this series collected in any other format, I think that's the way to go. I will be sticking with my custom bind. Um, let's move on quickly here, I guess. Wow, spent way too much time on Valiant. Um, some cool stuff coming from Boom, Alienated number one, um, Simon Spurrier, uh, Chris Wildgoose. Um, Simon Spurrier is awesome. I love his stuff. I may check that out digitally when I can. Um, a lot of soft covers. Um, some more Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and TMNT. I've heard this is actually a pretty great series so far. Um, and just, of course, some more regular Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Um, I know people are loving that. And, uh, of course, you know, with those hardcovers, they uh, they sell real quick, real fast. I'm just going to jump over to Aftershock here since, uh, you know, the, the, this is an Aftershock comic I'm ripping apart anyway. Um, got a new series starting. Again, they don't really ever tell you how many issues are going to be in the series, but seems to be 6 to 12, or then you have these runaway series that end up going for, for tens and tens of issues. Um, the Man Who Effed Up Time by John Lehman, art by Carl Mostert. Um, I Loved Chew by John Lehman. Um, I'm enjoying Outer Darkness by John Lehman. I may have to do a video about that series soon. Um, so I will also check this out digitally. I don't think I'm going to be buying any more Aftershock comics going forward. Um, it's just, uh, it's, you know, got to keep got to keep the pull list at a a normal spot here. Um, God Killers number one by Mark Sable, art by Manhouse. Unfortunately, I have not heard of either of these gentlemen's names, um, but it does sound like a cool, cool uh, series title anyway. Um, looks like it could be interesting. I may also have to check that out digitally when I get a chance. Ah, oh, this damn video. Um, all right, Undone by Blood or or the Shadow of a Wanted Man. That's a, that's a mouthful. Um, Lonnie Nadler and Zach Thompson, art by Sammy Cavella. Um, so the writers Lonnie Nadler and Zach Thompson, um, I'm familiar with because I read a, a series called Her Infernal Descent by them. Um, that was it was good, but again, just just the six issues. Um, we got Pestilence, the complete hardcover series, like I mentioned earlier, that will obviously collect all eleven issues. Of both minis. Um, Dark Arc is continuing here after the flood, number five. Colin Bunn going strong with that series. Shoplifters will be liquidated, number five. Um, have not checked the series out, don't know much about it. If you guys do, let me know. Um, and I guess, you know what, guys, the time just escaped me. Let's see if we can quickly look at Dark Horse here, uh, but probably not. Um, next time, next time. I'll, I guess I'll just have to. Uh, I have an excuse to do another uh, bind. We do have Bang number one out of five coming back from Matt Kent, which is always good. Matt Kent rocks. Um, but coming to a close here, guys. Got to get going, do some other stuff. But 
appreciate everyone for tuning in. Um, hopefully, you know, my rambling made some sense. Um, be sure to hit us up on Instagram at the hardcover comic. Let me know below what you're excited about from these publishers coming in February. And until next time, as always, thank you guys for tuning in. This is Mike from the hardcover comic. You stay classy, internet. <laughs>